Hello adventurers, it's Amelia again. It's the fall equinox today, September 22nd. The equinox is that special time of year when we have exactly 12 hours of sunlight and exactly 12 hours of darkness. It also comes at the end of summer, which means it's the markation day for fall. Fall starts today, everybody. In fall, we usually do some harvesting of our summer plants. So all of those gardens we've been growing all year, we've been growing corn and squash and beans and I don't know, anything else, grapes. We harvest those today or in the near, in the near future, very near future. We're gonna make some beaded maize. This is that colorful corn that you can grind up to make corn flour. We're not gonna grind these up because they're made out of beads and pipe cleaners. Aren't they cute? You can save yours as a decoration for a window or for your room. You can, I don't know, if you celebrate Christmas, you can hang it on your Christmas tree by bending one of these into a hook. That'd be cool. I just really like them because I think they're beautiful. It shows all the different kind of colors you can get in that maize corn that grows. For this project, we'll use this little packet of beads here. Should be 60 inside. And you're gonna use these three pipe cleaners. These are the full length ones that are in your craft kit. They're gonna be brown and tan and yellow. Everyone's gonna have a different combination of colors. So everyone's corn will look a little bit different, just like real maize. You're gonna take your three pipe cleaners together in the middle. You need to fold them in half to find out where that middle point is. That's okay too. And then you're gonna twist them like three times because you want them to stay together in the middle and not come apart when you do this next step which is to kind of make a spider shape or an insect shape, I guess, since spiders have eight legs and this one's just gonna have six. There's your insect. Spill out your beads somewhere where they won't roll off onto the floor. I've got this cool surface here. You can use a tray or a bowl. If your mom's sitting next to you, you can use her hand to hold the beads. Good job, mom. That one's not gonna work. Its hole is too small. Some of the beads that got into your kits may be from an assortment. If the hole's too small, put them back in your envelope. You can save them for another project. All right, this next part's pretty easy. You're gonna, at random, that means without planning ahead, you're just gonna put 10 beads on each of these arms. That's four, five, six, seven. You can use this to stab them if that's easier for you, eight. Like fish. It's a fishing game, you guys. Nine, ten. There's ten on my first arm. I'm moving on to the next arm. I'm gonna do ten on this one as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I know what some of you are thinking. Some of you are thinking, all the corn I eat is yellow. Corn on the cob is generally yellow. This is corn that we're gonna dry, sometimes called maize, sometimes called flint corn. And those corns can be all different colors, usually on the same cob. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one got away from me. Seven, eight, my mom was here to hold these in her hand, they wouldn't be rolling away. Nine and 10. Getting closer, we've got three of our arms done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you want help with these, and you do have a parent sitting next to you, your parent can help with that last leg while you do this one over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, All right, last one, everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine. And then this orange one was a little bit the wrong size, but let's try it out anyway, since we need 10 on this string to make my heart feel happy that they're all even. It fit after all. Okay. It's kind of cool just like that. It's like a star, right? If you pick it up from the middle and you fold all of those arms down, you kind of got to squeeze it in your hand to make sure all those strands of corn sit together nice and tight. Right at the top where they all come together, you're going to twist all six arms together in the same spot. This is going to make the husk that comes off the top of the corn like when it's dried out. You can roll these between your hands to make all the strands of corn stick together nicely. You guys, look at my beautiful corn. Did your corn turn out this good? Your corn's going to be different from mine, but I bet it's just as beautiful. Look at all those colors. Man, I love maize. It's a beautiful thing. It's amazing. All right, adventurers. Thanks here for being thanks for being here with us today. We're going to see you next time, and I hope you enjoy the next project as much as I enjoyed making this one. See you next time.